Let's go. And we will see. And thank God it's Friday, Friday the 7th day of July 2023, the first Friday in the month of July 2023. And this is Yola Boy today. Yola Boy today is asking you to use your position to bring joy to people. People around you, people far from you, people over whom you have one form of influence or the other perhaps in government, perhaps in the church, perhaps in the workplace, in a corporate organization, in an institution of learning, anywhere you find yourself, use your position to bring joy to people. And that's the topic of our discussion today. We're proceeding to read from the fourth chapter of the book of Esther today, and we need to move very fast because it's getting longer again. Are you set? Let's go. When Mordecai learned all that had been done, Mordecai rent his clothes and put on sackcloth and ashes and went out into the midst of the city, wailing with a loud and bitter cry. He went up to the entrance of the king's gate, for no one might enter the king's gate clothed with sackcloth. And in every province, wherever the king's command and his decree came, there was a great mourning among the Jews, with fasting and weeping and lamenting, and most of them lay in sackcloth and ashes. When Esther's maids and her eunuchs came and told her, the queen was deeply distressed. She sent garments to cloth Mordecai so that he might take off his sackcloth, but he would not accept them. Then Esther called for Hethak, one of the king's eunuchs who had been appointed to attend to her, and ordered him to go to Mordecai to learn what this was and why it was. Hedak went out to Mordecai in the open square of the city in front of the king's gate, and Mordecai told him all that had happened. And the exact man, sum of money that Haman had promised to pay into the king's treasures for the destruction of all the Jews. Mordecai also gave him a copy of the written decree issued in Susa for the destruction that he might show it to Esther and explain it to her and charge her to go to, to the king to make supplication to him and entreat him for her people. And he tapped, went and told Esther what Mordecai had said. Then Esther spoke to Hittach and gave him a message for Mordecai saying, All the king's servants and the people of the king's provinces know that if any man or woman goes to the king inside the inner court without being called there is but one law. All alike are to be put to death except 
the one to whom the king holds out the golden scepter, that he may live. And I have not been called to come to the king these thirty days. And they told Mordecai what Esther had said. Then Mordecai told them to return answer to Esther. Think not that in the king's palace you will escape any more than all the other Jews. For if you keep silence at such a time as this, relief and deliverance will rise for the Jews from another quarters. But you and your father's house will perish. And who knows whether you have not come to the kingdom for such a time as this. Then Esther told them to reply to Mordecai, Go gather all the Jews to be found in Susa, and hold a fast on my behalf, and neither eat nor drink for three days, night or day. I and my maid will also fast as you do. Then I will go to the king, though it is against the law. And if I perish, I perish. Mordecai then went away and did everything as Esther had ordered him. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. This is an interesting story of Esther being ready to also perish, in fact, ahead of the other Jews because this was a case of what would eventually become her lot to as a Jew because the law would not spare her. But do you know that some people in authority do not worry about such things? Oh, well... Let there not yet be palliatives and let oil subsidy be removed in Nigeria or in some other parts of the world where certain decisions are taken. Oh, the heavens will not fall. Are the heavens not falling one way or the other for everybody now? Is everybody not buying expensive when they ought to only have started buying by 1st of July? when certain palliatives ought to have been in place. So, this is what we are talking about. So, if you are a person of God, you are a man of God, and you find yourself in authority, you find yourself in the Senate, you find yourself in some other parliament, you find yourself in any way in authority, use your position to bring joy to the people, not hardship. Let it not be told concerning the period that you find yourself in authority, that life has become more difficult for the people. It's more difficult for them to access electricity, to access uh, other forms of energy, uh, to get gasoline, to get diesel, because the cost has skyrocketed and their income has not gone up. No palliatives. Use your position to bring joy to the people. Well, that's the message for today. Pass this across to as many people in authority around you right now. Do not neglect to let this go around until all governors in the Federal Republic of Nigeria get to see this, until all those in, national, in the National Assembly, the Senators and the members of the Federal House of Representatives get to hear this, until all those in the state parliaments, all state houses of assembly, until they also get to know this, that life is difficult for people in Nigeria and they ought to use their positions to bring joy to the people. Well, I will necessarily have to let you know that this is also an instruction and advice to you people that next time you have an opportunity to also let there be people that will be in authority, let them be those that will be after the heart of the Lord. Those that are people of God, I'm not necessarily talking about faith only now, but those from whichever faith they belong to, 
that will hearken to the word of the Lord. After all, even when God needed to send a message through beasts, he did. If he needed to send a message through prophets, he did. If he needed to send messages through his own people, he did. If he needed to send messages through other people, he did. Let those people that will be in authority over you be those that will hearken to the voice of the Lord whenever God is, God is sending a message to let there be joy amongst his people. Use your position to bring joy to the people. Pass this message around. This particular message must go around the whole of the Federal Republic of Nigeria to all those in authority that they should use their position to bring joy to the people. Well, I will still use my own position now to bring joy to some people by inviting them to the kingdom of God. That is all I have at my disposal to give right now. So I want to invite you to join the people of God to come into the faith of Christ. I want to invite you now to give your life to Christ so that you can also rest assured that you are a Christian. Are you set for that experience? Then quickly say this prayer. Say, Lord Jesus, I come before you right now. I know that I should use my position to bring joy to the people. Therefore, I want to attain a new position, a position in Christ, so that I can bring joy to people around me. I know I have not been in you all along. I have not been with you all along, Lord Jesus. So forgive me of all the sins of the past. I am ready from this moment forward to accept you as Lord and Savior. Take me, Lord, as one of yours today and use me to bring joy to the people from today. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. If you just said that prayer, welcome to the fold of Christ, where we use our positions to bring joy to the people. You need to find a Bible-believing church where you can grow in the faith. So therefore, I recommend that you join us in the Anglican Church, Oroki Estate Extension, Oshubu. For now, we still worship in the chapel hall of the Olive Branches Middle and High Schools, Onyiko and Gokyo Mibodon Drive, Oroki Estate Extension, Oshubu. But very soon, we hope to be able to use our position to bring joy to the people who worship in the church the more by having a purpose-built building dedicated to serving the Lord. You can see the bank account details on the screen right now. Drop something there and you will thereby be using your own position of having a little to give or much to give to bring joy to the house of God. And as you go out this weekend right now, you need to say this prayer. Say, Heavenly Father, Give me grace to use my position to serve you and humanity and bring joy to people around me. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. So God bless you as you go out today. Remember, use your position to bring joy to the people and God will bring more joy your way even as you do that. God bless you.